Hello everyone, today we are going to discussing about the specific heat experiment. Here our aim is identification of unknown metal sample by determining their specific heat capacities. Now operators, here we have one heater, calorimeter, calorimeter, weighing balance, flask, beaker, unknown metal sample, thermometer and dynized water. Those are the our operators. Next formula. Here <coughs> heat formula is Q equals to MCS into delta T. M means mass into specific heat into change in temperature. Here in this calorimeter experiment we have the heat transfer from one object to another object. Here calorimeter formula Q metal equals to minus q water here negative sign indicates the heat lost by the metal equals to heat gained by the water here q e q metal q formula mass into specific heat into delta t here mass into mass of the metal and specific heat of the metal and change in temperature of the metal equals to minus Q water, Q means M C S into delta T that means M water mass of the water specific heat specific heat of the water change in temperature of the water. Now we have to find the specific heat of the metal that means C S M specific heat of the metal equals to minus mass of the water specific heat of the water change in temperature of the water by mass of the metal into change in temperature of the metal. Now we need to find the mass of the metal. Here we have metal. <coughs> now this is the weighing balance. Switch on the weighing balance then keep the beaker into the balance. Now the beaker weight is 171. Okay there the balance. Now the beaker weight is 0. Keep the metal into the beaker. Now mass of the metal is 16.58. Then write down the mass of the metal 16.58. Next here we have calorimeter. Then and <coughs> test tube also. Okay. Then take out the thermometer keep the metal into the test tube keep the metal into the test tube then carefully fix the rubber cork into the test tube now we need to heat the metal now for heating we need to use some water that's why i kept into I kept the some water into the calorimeter then keep the test tube into the calorimeter. Now switch on the power supply. The heater keep into second position. Ke heater keep into second position. Then we need to find the <coughs> mass of the water. Now, I am taking dionized water. Now, I am taking 20 grams of water that is MW, 20 grams of metal. Then again tear it, keep the beaker into the weighing balance, tear it. Now, I am taking 20 grams of water. Now, I am taking 20 grams of water that is MW. Then take out the beaker keep the water into the flask now we need to find the initial temperature of the water now i am using thermometer initial temperature of the water now initial temperature of the water is 26 degree celsius Twenty six degrees Celsius. Then write down the initial temperature of the water. 
next now the metal get into heating the metal get into heat up to 90 degree celsius when it reaches to 90 you can use gloves by using this gloves you can take out the test tube into calorimeter take out the test tube into the calorimeter switch off the power supply then write down the initial temperature of the metal then write down the initial temperature of the metal T1 m now write down the 89 degrees celsius next take out the rubber cork into the test tube then keep the metal into the flask now we need to find the final temperature it consists of water plus metal we need to find the final temperature then write down the final temperature of the metal plus water t2 value now we have we now we know mass of the metal change in temperature of the metal mass of the water change in temperature of the water we know all the values then all the values substitute in the specific heat of the metal formula then write down the all the values into the formula then find the specific heat value now you will get the some value by using that value we can find the unknown metal sample that is our experiment